Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. When we think about groundbreaking materials that have had a massive impact on modern life, Kevlar often comes to mind. Kevlar is synonymous with bulletproof vests, protective gear, and other life-saving applications. But have you ever wondered where this incredible material came from and who invented it? Behind every remarkable invention, there's a human story filled with curiosity, persistence, and sometimes sheer luck. Kevlar's invention is no different. In fact, it's a story of a woman named Stephanie Kwolek, who never set out to create anything like Kevlar, but ended up revolutionizing the world of material science and personal protection. Stephanie Kwolek was born in 1923 in New Kensington, Pennsylvania. Her early life didn't particularly indicate that she would become a trailblazing scientist. In fact, she originally had aspirations of becoming a doctor. However, like many people's paths, life took her in a different direction. After earning a degree in chemistry from Margaret Morris and Carnegie College, which was part of Carnegie Mellon University at the time, Quolek sought temporary employment in the chemical industry to save up money for medical school. Little did she know, this temporary job would turn into a lifelong career. In 1946, she started working at DuPont, one of the largest chemical companies in the world. DuPont was renowned for producing synthetic materials, and it was here that Quolek found her footing in polymer research. At first, it was just a job, but as time went on, Quolek became more and more intrigued by the challenges of polymer chemistry. By the 1960s, she was part of a team at DuPont working on materials that could be used in tires, as the automotive industry was booming and needed more durable, lightweight materials. This was the backdrop that would eventually lead to Kevlar's invention. The project Quolek was working on involved searching for fibers that were lighter and stronger than the ones in use. It might sound simple, but this was a complex and arduous task. Polymers, the long chain molecules that make up materials like plastic and rubber, can behave in all kinds of unpredictable ways. Scientists like Quolek had to experiment constantly, tweaking molecular structures in an attempt to find something new and useful. Most of these experiments didn't lead to much, but in 1965, Quolek made a discovery that would change everything. It started, as many scientific breakthroughs do, with something that seemed like a failure. Quolek was working with a polymer solution that appeared thin and watery, a sign that the material wasn't behaving as it was supposed to. Normally, this would mean tossing the mixture aside and starting again. But Quolek's curiosity got the better of her. Instead of discarding the solution, she asked a technician to spin it into fibers. And this is where things got interesting. The fibers that were produced were unlike anything anyone had seen before. They were incredibly strong and lightweight, two qualities that rarely go hand in hand. Quolek and her colleagues began to investigate this new material further. What they found was astonishing. The fibers had a tensile strength that was five times greater than steel on an equal weight basis. This meant that it could stop a bullet, resist extreme pressures, and remain lightweight enough to be practical in a wide range of applications. After extensive testing and development, DuPont introduced Kevlar to the world in 1971. At the time, no one could have predicted just how influential Kevlar would become. Its most famous use, of course, is in bulletproof vests, which have saved countless lives. But Kevlar's applications extend far beyond that. It's used in everything from military helmets and gloves to ropes, cables, and even sports equipment. It's found in aerospace, construction, and even musical instruments. Essentially, anywhere strength, durability, and lightweight properties are needed, Kevlar can play a role. But where did the name Kevlar come from? Like many brand names, the story behind it is a bit mysterious and practical. 
When DuPont was ready to bring the material to market, they needed a name that would be easy to remember, strong-sounding, and capable of standing out. The name Kevlar was chosen because it combined elements of strength and toughness, qualities the material embodied. While there's no specific meaning to Kevlar, its name was meant to evoke a sense of reliability and protection, and it certainly succeeded in doing so. What's fascinating about Kevlar's story is that Quolex breakthrough was not a deliberate attempt to create a material for bulletproof vests or military applications. In fact, Quolex herself never anticipated the full scope of her invention's impact. She was simply a chemist, driven by curiosity, working in a field that required persistence and a willingness to explore the unknown. Her story is a testament to the often serendipitous nature of scientific discovery. Sometimes, breakthroughs come from a simple decision to pursue a path that looks like a failure or from paying attention to details that others might overlook. Quolek didn't become a household name, and for many years, she worked quietly behind the scenes at DuPont. But those in the scientific community recognized her achievements. She was awarded numerous honors, including induction into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 1995. Even though she never pursued her dream of becoming a doctor, Quolek found a different way to save lives. Today, her legacy lives on in every piece of Kevlar that's manufactured every life that's protected by her invention. It's easy to look at Kevlar now and see it as just another part of modern life, but its invention was a truly revolutionary moment in materials science. It required not only scientific expertise, but also creativity, resilience, and the ability to see potential where others might not. Quolex's contribution to the world cannot be overstated, at a time when the field of chemistry was dominated by men, she broke barriers and proved that women had an invaluable role to play in science and innovation. Looking back at the broader context of Quolex's discovery, it's fascinating to think about the ripple effect that Kevlar has had across various industries. It's not just about protection or safety, though those are perhaps its most profound applications. Kevlar is also about pushing the boundaries of what materials can do. It has inspired further research into lightweight, high-strength polymers and opened up new avenues in material science that we continue to explore today. Stephanie Kwolek passed away in 2014, but her legacy is cemented in history as the inventor of a material that has undoubtedly saved lives and changed industries. When we talk about Kevlar, we're not just talking about a fiber or a product. We're talking about the spirit of scientific exploration, about taking risks, and about the incredible potential of human curiosity. Quolex's story reminds us that sometimes the most important discoveries come from the most unexpected places, and that a single person's work can change the world in ways they might never have imagined. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.